In the Ninja Ace, we'll be teaching California, Victory, and Cold. So we will first be talking about the history of the Native Americans. Um, so before the Europeans came, the Native, Native Americans lived in California. They were hunter-gatherers, which meant they got food from hunting, gathering, and fishing. Um, and each, they each lived in a group called a tribe, and each tribe had a leader called a chief. Would you rather hunt or gather or farm for food? Um, you can type in the chat. Um, let me repeat that. Would you rather hunt and gather or farm for food? Hunt and gather and farm. Um, you can type it in the chat. Okay, so based on the chat, it seems pretty even. Um, so the Spanish were like the first Europeans to come to California, kind of. Um, on September 28th, 1542, the Spanish first set foot on California and they were in search of riches gold and other precious things. They later, later colonized California and established missions along the coast of California. The Native Americans were converted to Christianity in the, the missions, and once they were converted, missionaries would move on to the next mission, and the existing mission would serve as a church. And here is an image of Mission San Gabriel. Definitions and vocabulary. Hunter-gatherer, people who gain food from hunting, gathering, and fishing. Mission, group of people sent to do religious work. Tribe, a group of people who share the same ancestry. Native, native where the person is originally from. It could also be plants. Um, would anyone like to read one of the words out loud? Mission. Yeah, good job. Um, next slide. Independence from Spain. Um, when Mexico became independent from Spain in 1821, so was California. The Spanish Mexican settlers came to California and settled there. The Mexican government also gave out mission ranches to political favorites and 1833 to 1840. Oregon Trail. In 1840, in the 1840s, settlers from the east. Oh, okay. In 1840s, settlers from the east settled in California. Arrived, they arrived by using the Oregon and California Trail. In 1846, led by John Fremont, they rebelled and declared their own country called the Bear Flag Republic. It stretches from Missouri to, um, to Oregon, and they came in wagons. Um, 
Mexican-American War. It lasted from 1826 to 1848. It was fought in Mexico, and on February 2nd, 1848, the war ended with the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo's, and it was signed by both sides. North of Rio Grande and California was sold to the United States for $15 million. Legacy of the Spanish-Mexican ruling. California became independent in 1848. Towns named are Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Diego, and Sacramento, which is also the cap capital of California. Some missions are Mission San Capuchino or Mission Santa Barbara. <laughs> Gold found. On January 28, 1848, gold was found by James Wilson Marshall while building a small <laughs> News quickly spread about the discovery of gold, although Marshall and Sutter tried to keep it under control. Hi, we are sorry. Can you please? Because uh, it's really hard to hear your voice. I'm trying to speak as loud as I can. Um, the solution is open the voice loudly on your computer that you can hear clearly. Penny for gold. Step one is to add river gravel in a shallow pan. Step two is to add water. Step three is to swirl it so water and light minerals spill out of the pan. Step four, if gold is found, it would be at the bottom of the pan. Three hundred thousand over three hundred thousand people moved to California during eighteen forty eight to eighteen fifty five, which is during the gold rush. Okay, um, it's my turn to present, but I think, um, Elizabeth, the slides are kind of like not in order. So do you mind me sharing from my end? Thank you. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I will be presenting or talking about California culture. So Mita introduced us earlier uh, that over 300,000 people moved to California during 1848 to 1855. So, and these people came from many different parts of the world. Some came from Europe and some of them moved from the east side to across the Appalach Appalachian Mountain to the um, to California to the west side. So California culture, um, California cultures is influenced by many different um, people. After so after learning about California history, we know that California was ruled by Spain and Mexico. Thus, California cultures are products of both Spanish and Mexican influence, as well as all of the immigrants and migrants who moved from the East during Manifest Destiny period, which is between roughly between 18,000 to 1850. And besides human influence, California culture is also greatly influenced by its natural landscape, including the beach, mountains, rivers, and lakes. And on the next slide, we have a question. What is your impression of California culture? If anyone would like to volunteer or type in chat for me. So 
sunshine. Yeah, the sunshine and, and beach. And Los Angeles and maybe something nice. I like California. That's really good answers. Thank you. And someone said California rolls. Yes, that is a good answer as well. Oh, that 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 tastes so good. I love it. Okay. Next, we will move on. So, um, we mentioned like、um, sunshine beaches and、um, Los Angeles. So, here are some, I believe, like、um, the icons or like the things that you would think of when you speak about California, especially Southern California, since that is. Where I live in, and I'm more familiar. But、um, when you speak of California, you think about the beach, and you think about like Disneyland and Hollywood, Los Angeles. And in Los Angeles, there's also the Lakers, and most importantly, the food there, the In and Out that we're famous of. So, some key culture I'm going to introduce today.、Um, Our freedom, ethnicity, nature, and entertainment industry. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Actually, I forgot to change this. But I'm going to introduce freedom, food, nature, and entertainment industry today. Sorry about that. Okay. So the first culture that, or California culture, I'll introduce is. About freedom. So California is relatively California is socially, economically, and political free. So when I say that socially free is that people here, people who live here, enjoy a sense of freedom. They can spend time in nature,、um, concert venues, restaurants, and there's just many places here for people to spend and enjoy their pastime. And California is also more politically free, and there is a more liberal approach to politics in most of the areas here. So,、um, you see, most of the areas support、um, the Democrats, and California is a relatively blue state. And as the third largest state in America, California presents strong senses of individuality. Which is also a reason why California is famous for its creative industry. And next, we'll talk about food. And I believe Zoe is going to talk about food in a later、um, presentation, so I will leave that to her. But I just want to generally discuss it for a little. So we have our famous In and Out. Which is only、um, available on the West Coast. So if you ever come to California, you will want to try it out because you can't get it anywhere else. It is very cheap and it's like、um, a must-have, and we always eat them because they're really good. And we're also famous for our sweets, so all kinds of donuts, churros, and finally, I want to talk about.、Um, Boba in Boba in California. Boba has become really popular in America, especially California. And we all know that boba is from Taiwan, but and people here love to drink them. One difference between the boba here and Taiwan is that boba here is a lot more expensive than in Taiwan. So that is just a fun, interesting fact. Okay. Next, we will talk about the nature. Oh, my animation did not work. Anyways,、um, there are many natural landscapes in California, and the most famous one is definitely the beach. So, in、um, Southern California, there are many beaches, and they are some of the most popular places people visit during the summer. And other than that, there are also many. Mountains with hiking trails, rivers, and lakes, and Californians just love to explore the nature by going to these places. And some of the 
popular beaches in Southern California includes the Newport Beach. Oh yeah, I think here's a picture. I hit them under here. Here's a picture of Newport Beach. And also Huntington Beach. There's a really big walkway where people walk and um, bike. And there's also Laguna Beach and Long Beach. And some of the popular hiking spots in California includes the Yosemite Park National Park and Joshua Tree National Park. And lastly, I want to introduce you about California, um, the entertainment industry in California. So in Southern California, um, Los Angeles is a city with the world's most famous entertainment industry. In Los Angeles, you can find Hollywood where actors gather and famous films are filmed. All of these films right here are, film are Hollywood films and I don't know if you guys can see clearly, but how many of you guys have at least watched like one movie from this list? If you can put in chat or just raise your hand using the reaction tool, please. Oh, not many of you have. I think Avenger, everyone saw that, right? Everyone knows Avengers, right? And Star Wars, and I can see other. Sorry, the pictures it's kind of so, but um, movies from sorry from left is Avengers, Rampage, Star Wars, um, Venom. Yes, um, Maze Runner. Runner. Looks like Fallout, Maze Runner, Jurassic World, then and, the Meg. and the Meg. Yes. So these are some of the popular Hollywood films. Oh, oops. And also, many artists also develop here. And in fact, a really popular Taiwanese American artist, Ozzy, I don't know how many of you guys know that, but he's pretty famous, right? And is currently making his music in LA. And finally, there is also a also the rising TikTok industry in Los Angeles in California. And for example, the most famous one, the Hype House is based and founded in LA. Cool. And that will be all of the key cultures I in, I will be introducing today. And finally, I just want to end with some questions. So I am wondering what artists, celebrities, professional athletes do you know that live in California? If you can type in chat or you can um, say out loud if you want. Um, I like the Lakers. The Lakers. Yes, and many of the Lakers athletes live in California. I mean, Los Angeles. Yeah, obviously. Lakers. Cool. And I would love to, when I go to California, I will go to the beach. And I love the most culture part is the beach. The beach? <laughs> Yeah, the beach is a good part of California. Yes. Um, um, How's the weather in California? It is hot and but right it's now it's hot too. Yes, it's hot, but it's dry. It's not humid. It's like not humid, just like Taiwan, but it's like hot still. Um. So she went over uh, the questions I haven't brought up yet, but it's okay. So um, the last two questions I had for our class is that what activities would you do if you come to California and what California culture do you like the most? And if 
nobody else wants to answer, that will be the end of my presentation. Okay, thank you everyone for participating and listening to my presentation.